Welcome to Animal A Day! Quick wire-haired pointing griffin facts, the Dutch-German-French pup. 1. The wire-haired pointing griffin, or Corthal's griffin, is a medium-sized gun dog with European roots. It is one of the three griffin types. 2. There was some contention on which country could claim the breed as its origin. The creator of the breed was Dutch, so the Netherlands have claimed it as their own. But most of the actual breeding work took place in Germany and France, the latter of which where it was perfected. 3. The man responsible for creating the breed was Eddard Carol Corthals. He started his work in 1873 with the goal of creating an incredibly loyal and tough hunter and pointer that had lots of stamina, was very receptive to training, and could retrieve on both land and water. 4. They were designed with the intention of creating a capable swimmer, so as a result, they were bred towards having webbed feet, allowing easier movement in the water. 5. While there's no concrete evidence supporting this theory, some people think Corthals may have been inspired to start breeding after Mendel's groundbreaking genetics research became widely known around the time. Mendel laid down the principles of heredity through extensive pea plant breeding, which served as a source of inspiration for numerous Europeans to engage in breeding experiments of their own. 6. Males can grow up to 2 feet or 60 centimeters tall, with females usually being a few inches shorter. Males can weigh up to 70 pounds or 32 kilograms, and females up to 50 pounds or 23 kilograms. 7. The pup has a double coat, with a wild looking and wiry outer coat, and a smoother undercoat. Its classic colors are a silver body with a brown or chestnut head, though there are several more, albeit less sought after, colors and combinations. If it's completely black, it's not considered a true dog of the breed. 8. Wire-haired pointing griffins shed less than other dog breeds, so it's considered somewhat hypoallergenic compared to most. 9. It's a fairly rare breed in the States, but it still comes in as the 57th most registered dog breed with the American Kennel Club in 2022. And 10. It's a very social breed that needs near constant companionship, exercise, or mental stimulation. They will be miserable or destructive otherwise. Thanks for watching. Now take that subscribe button to the zoo.